I am incredibly addicted to Cookie Clicker. It's a game where you have to click on a cookie, and the more you click on the cookie, the more cookies you get. And with those cookies, you can buy things that speeds up your process of getting cookies. So you'll end up getting more cookies faster. For example, you can buy an extra mouse cursor that will also click on the cookies from time to time. With enough cookies, you can also get your grandmother to produce cookies for you. You heard that grandma, get to work or you won't be fed. Don't make me put you back in the dungeon. It's a very fun game. Eventually, everything goes automatic incredibly fast. So you don't even have to actually do anything anymore. You just keep the game running and see how many cookies you are gaining. And you're probably thinking, but why? Why would you put so much time and energy in keeping a number count up? And that's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure that out myself. <sighs> but I keep going. My, my one grandma I, I hired turned into hundreds. I, I don't even know how I contacted so many of my ancestors, but... They're here and they're making cookies. <laughs> I'm using the cookie stock market. I'm contacting wizards to poof some cookies for me now. Like I'm now baking cookies in outer space. We even go to different dimensions. I mean, we need to have so much space as possible so we can produce as much cookies as we possibly can. Now we have literally all the room to make cookies. Literally all the room that exists. The only thing that's holding us back from creating more cookies is the time we have. So we get a time machine and go back in time to produce more cookies there. <laughs> I hope the dinosaurs are having fun. <laughs> this was probably the reason they went extinct. <laughs> they just couldn't handle the cookie crumbling quest of being enslaved. What can this game possibly do with your brain that makes it so drawn to seeing numbers increase? Because that's literally the entire gameplay. Nothing about it seems like genuinely rewarding. Like every time I s see the number count and it's higher than I expected, it's like the greatest thing ever. It's like winning the lottery. I, I feel some sense of pride out of it, even though I, I, I clicked on a cookie, you know, like it's not that special. Well, my friend, that is because of something called dopamine. To elaborate further, I can talk about the neurotransmitter that plays a crucial role in the brain's reward system, but that's boring! We're going to explain it how the kids like it. Isn't that right, kids? Yeah! Give a warm applause for Dopey! Huh? Oh, oh, my bad. Dope, I mean. Dope, I mean. Dopamine. Anyway, here he is! Isn't this great? <laughs> Dope is really rad with kids. He's not like the other 87 year olds. He's kind of a cornball. And he loves to share all his joy with the children. Aww, this kid doesn't look so happy. He doesn't seem to get any pleasures. His dopamine levels are so low. But Dope knows how to make him happy. Turn on a funny video for this kid to watch. He is having a blast. Look, his dopamine level is now medium. I mean, the kid is having fun and all, but there's a few temptations what he thinks could make his blast more blastastic. Okay, wait, okay, hold up. This is fucking weird. You can't just watch two screens at a time. Here, here, give me the screen. Ah! You would think that taking one monitor away would put his high dopamine levels back at medium, but that isn't the case. Because his dopamine levels were so high, he increased the requirements of what gives him satisfaction. What originally was for him high dopamine, slowly became his medium. Chasing for higher dopamine doesn't make you more satisfied. It just increases your requirements on what would make you satisfied. And people capitalize on this. Food, social media, games. All those things are designed to make you happy, as long as you are feeding of it constantly. The moment you get removed by it, you are nothing. You feel uneasy, living in yourself alone, without being stimulated. You actually see the time pass by, you are aware of it, and you feel like you are wasting it. Not to forget that you want stimulation, not just during rest, but even when you need to be productive. This will fuck you up internally, because your brain is getting so fried that you become Kentucky Fried Chicken number one competition. And externally, because you will get so little done that you will end up having to work for Kentucky Fried Chicken. The thing is, dopamine doesn't make you happy. 
It just gives your brain a constant message that you're being awarded and that you do something good. But it also kind of brainwashes your brain into thinking that things that don't give you an instant reward aren't good things that you shouldn't be doing. It could be something simple like not wanting to watch a YouTube video because it doesn't give you directly what you wanted in the first 15 seconds. But it can also be something as bad as like not wanting to brush your teeth or not wanting to shower because your brain doesn't give you an instant reward for doing so. So that sounds pretty scary, but the question is, how do I fix this? Well, my general advice would be doing things that make you genuinely happy and not artificially make you happy. But when you ask on how specifically you can solve the problem, that's a lot more difficult because there's no clear answer to that. It's something that you kind of have to figure out yourself. Humans are very complicated creatures. It's, it's hard to give one advice that will automatically be good for everyone. But don't worry, I'm not leaving you empty handed. I'm going to give you some recommendations you can consider using. A dopamine detox. A dopamine detox is when you cut yourself away from any type of pleasures entirely. And doing so kind of resets your dopamine levels we've talked about earlier. And then when you're done with the detox, you come back with incredible self-control and you become a perfect human being free from any type of bad pleasures. And in general, you're just not as reliant on dopamine as much. What can be great, but I do have my issues with it. First of all, it's very possible that you just fall back in your old habits after the detox is done. Another problem can be that dopamine-filled activities are incredibly integrated in people's day-to-day -day life. So when they're doing the detox, their whole world is kind of being flipped upside down and they are probably not going to know how to exactly deal with that. So it's also very possible that they're not going to be able to do the detox in general. Dopamine detox might just be too much of a challenge for it to be realistically possible for most humans. So I recommend removing dopamine related things in parts of your day and not the entirety of it. What you can also do is instead of removing dopamine related things, you can fill your day into actually great things that will make you happy in the long run and setting that as your priority. So in general, you would just have less time to do the dopamine related things because you're first going to do things that make you genuinely happy. For example, you will always do a run first before you do anything dopamine related. But you also have to make sure that you're not making it too impossible, just like the dopamine detox. Like, don't just say to yourself, like, I'm going to do a two hour run. Because bitch, you're not, you're not going to do that. Maybe do something like, I don't know, walk to the store. I feel like that's more fitting for you, you lazy ass. Whatever you decide to do to fix it, it's going to be one problem that you're 100% going to face. And that is boredom. Getting rid of dopamine filled things will 100% leave you bored. It's just a natural reaction you are going to get. And you have to make sure that you also allow that. Because allowing it will make it that you have to kind of force yourself in making the world around you entertaining. And if you start doing that on a regular basis, eventually you don't have to pretend anymore. Like you genuinely enjoy the world you see right now. And that will improve like your life so much better if you just take a time to improve it and allow yourself to be bored. Allow yourself to be bored. Look, look, be bored right now. Just be bored. Just stare to a wall. Be bored. Be bored. Be bored.